Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve questions that were asked in the National Science Olympiad from the logical reasoning section for standard 5. Let's get started. Let's look at the first question. The first question is there on your screen. The given picture shows 7 dives. Find the total number of dots that are seen in this picture. What will be the total number of dots that are seen in the picture? Very easy, you just have to count the number of dots here. So here you have 2, this is 1, this is 5, this is 3, this is 4, again 1, 1, 2, 6. Add up all these dots, this is 6, this is 3, again you have a 5 and a 4. Add up all these numbers. So you just have to add up all of these numbers and find out the answer. Now if you look at the options, very clearly you know, can if you add 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 these small numbers will you get the answer as 104 definitely not possible that will not be your answer similarly 147 also cannot be your answer these two numbers are very big now we just have to find out what is the total number of dots that are seen in this picture so the answer definitely has to be either 21 or 43 now to check if it is 21 or 43 see if you start adding the number of dots right see here you have one six so six another six what is six plus six six plus six is twelve then twelve plus five is seventeen seventeen plus three is twenty and uh, plus one is twenty one so when i have added all of these itself my answer i am getting is twenty one so when i add all the remaining numbers also definitely my answer is going to be greater than twenty one it cannot be twenty one so this is also not my answer definitely my answer is going to be option b 43. What I am trying to say is you need not sit and add all these separately, add all of these numbers and find out the exact answer. Just by looking at the options itself, you can eliminate option C and option D. And option A also, when you start adding the numbers, when you add, uh, start adding the number of dots, you will find out that definitely it is going to be greater than 21. So, option A will also be wrong. The correct answer here is option B, 43. Next question. In a certain code language, board is written as 51324, side is written as 9647. How will base be written in that code language? In a certain code language, board is written as 51324. Similarly, side, S-I-D-E, side is written as 9647. Whenever you have questions on coding, decoding, many times writing the code just below the word given will help us arrive at the answer fast. That is why I am writing it like this. So, here you have to find out how will base be coded. One thing I can observe from this word board and side is that what is the code that has been used for D? D the code used is 4. Here also for D the code that has been used is 4. So we can say that for each letter in the word a particular number has been used as the code. So here for S 9 is used, for I 6 is used, for E 7 is used, similarly for B 5 is used, for A 3 is used, for O 1 is used and for R 2 is used. Following the same pattern, how can I code base? Base will be coded as, B will be coded as 5, correct? The number that has been used for B is 5, I can see that here. And similarly, A is coded as 3, S is coded as 9 and E is coded as 7. So, what will be the code for base in this language? It will be 5397, which is option A. If you are not familiar with the topic coding decoding, please refer to our video lesson on coding decoding to understand it better. The correct answer for the question here is option A. Next question. Mohit celebrates Siddhak's birthday on the third day after second Saturday of March 20XX. The date on Siddhak's birthday is dash. It is said that Mohit celebrates Siddhak's birthday on third day after second Saturday of March 20XX. So the calendar of that particular month is given to us and when is the second Saturday? See here in this calendar, 5th is our first Saturday and 12th is our second Saturday. When is Siddhak's birthday celebrated? Siddhak's birthday is celebrated on the 
third day after second Saturday. So, which is the first day after second Saturday? 13th is the first day after second Saturday, 14th is the second day after second Saturday and 15th is the third day after second Saturday. So, when is Mohit's birthday celebrated? Mohit's birthday is celebrated on 15th that is the third day after the second Saturday. Our correct answer here is option A 15th March. The date on Sitax of Sitak's birthday is 15th March. How many triangles will be needed to form the 10th figure in the given series? There is a pattern that is being followed in each figure. Now on both the sides right in the first figure on both the sides there are two triangles like this. On in the second figure also on both the sides there are only two triangles. And again in the third figure also on both the sides here on these two sides there are only two triangles. Similarly in the fourth figure also on these two sides there will be two triangles. Similarly in the fifth, sixth and the tenth figure also on the two sides there will only be two triangles like this. That is same right in that or in the tenth figure in this pattern also on both the sides there will only be two triangles. Now we have to find out in between how many triangles are there. See look at the squares here. Here there was one square in the first figure. In the second figure there are two squares right. Here there are three squares. In the fourth figure there will be four. In the fifth figure five like that. In the tenth figure there will be ten such squares will be there. There will be ten squares and each square right has two triangles like this correct. So how many squares will I have like this? I will have 10 squares and each square will have two triangles. So, how many triangles will be there? 10 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 20. So, I will have 20 such triangles. I hope it is clear. So, in the first figure there is one square. In the second figure there are two squares. In the third figure there are three squares and similarly the number of squares in the tenth figure will be 10 squares. There will be 10 squares in the 10th figure. If you consider each square, if you consider each square in the top and the bottom of each square there are two triangles. See there is one triangle here and one triangle here on top of the square. Similarly there is one triangle here and one triangle here on top of the square. Like that if we have 10 squares then how many triangles will be there in that 10 squares all together like this in top and bottom there will be 10 twos are 20 triangles like that. Now other than these 20 triangles we already found out that on these two sides right on these two sides of the 10th uh, figure also there will be two triangles like that you have to add them also. So what will be the total number of triangles in the given figure it will be 20 plus 2 which is equal to 22. The correct answer here is option C. 22. Choose the letter which will complete both the given words. So, you have to find out what is the letter that will come in the place of this dot. What is the letter that will come here? Very easy. It has to be W. If you read it horizontally, the word that we get is reward. If you read it vertically downwards, it will be beware. So, the correct answer here is option B, W. Which of the following figures will complete the pattern in figure X? So, which figure will complete the pattern in figure X? Let us just try to draw and complete this uh, pattern. How will it look like? It will look something like this, right? It should be something like this. So, which is that answer option? Obviously, this is not going to be your answer here. The figure itself is other way around. It has to be like this. So, option B is wrong. Option D is also wrong. Option C is also wrong. Obviously, it has to be option A that has to be your correct answer option just by looking at the options see the way in which this should come right the way in this which this lines should come with that itself you can say option B C and D are wrong because they are in the other direction. So you can't place it here and complete the figure it has to be option A. The bus is moving towards the hotel in which direction is the bus moving so the bus is moving like this in which direction is the bus moving. To solve this question you need to know the directions diagram. If you know the directions correctly you can solve this question. Let us first draw the directions diagram. This is north, this is south, this is east and this is west. And what is this direction? This is between north and east right. So you call it as northeast. This is between south and east. So you call it as 
south east this is between south and west so you call it as south west and this is between north and west so you call it as north west these are the directions that you need to know if you by heart if you know this directions then it is very very easy to solve the bus is moving in which direction the bus is moving like the bus is moving like this it is moving in this direction means it is like this right this direction that is southeast if you look at this figure which is that matching direction it is nothing but southeast so or i can say that the bus is moving in the southeast direction that is option b find the missing number if a certain rule is to be followed row wise or column wise can you find some relationship between the numbers given here either row wise or column wise yes it is very very easy right see 4 3s are 12 5 3s are 15 so what should come in the place of question mark it should be 20 multiplied by 9 see in the first row here i am multiplying 4 and 3 and i am getting the answer as 12 so 4 3s are 12 similarly 5 and 3 i am multiplying those two numbers what i am getting i am getting 15 5 3s are 15 similarly 20 multiplied by 9 that will come as the answer in the place of question mark which is equal to 180 so the correct answer for this question is option d 180 trishika and samarth likes mercedes mini and priya like ferrari samarth trishika and mini like duster priya and samarth like audi who like exactly three cars so whenever you have such questions always write down the given information always write down what is given if you write it down it will be very very easy for you to solve what is given here trishika and samarth likes mercedes i am just writing down the name of the persons given here there is trishika there is samarth there is mini and there is priya now what does the first line say the first line says that trishika and samarth likes mercedes so trishika likes mercedes samarth also likes mercedes next it is given mini and priya like ferrari mini likes ferrari priya also likes ferrari then what is given samarth trishika and mini like duster so trishika likes duster samarth likes duster and mini also likes duster the next line says priya and samarth like audi so samarth likes audi and priya also likes audi what is the question who exactly likes three cars very easy to find out now who likes three cars definitely samarth likes three cars so the correct answer here is option c samarth select the incorrect match of mirror images of the figure shown in the options which is the incorrect match of mirror images as soon as you look at the options given itself you can find out the answer the correct answer here is option b here app is given so app if the mirror was like this how will it appear the left and the right of the image will interchange but the top and the bottom of the image will not interchange so it should look like this correct both the piece should be written like this here one p is written like this and one p is written like this which is not correct so definitely option b is the incorrect mirror image correct answer is option b with this we are coming to an end of the questions that were asked in this paper if you have any doubts in any of these questions please do let me know in the comments box and i will be happy to help you and do subscribe to our channel to get more such videos thank you